now from the desk of the superintendent's office, it's time for Super News. Hello, I'm Cliff England, Vice President of the St. Bernard Parish School Board. For the last several years, I had the privilege of serving on the Student of the Year Selection Committee, which brings together the very best and the brightest students in our district. These outstanding young people represent all that is good in our public schools, and each is a great ambassador in and out of the classroom. So today on this very special edition of Super News, it's my honor to present our 11 students of the year. Let's meet them now. I believe that the student of the year should be a hard worker. Someone like me who strives to do their best and never gives up when things go wrong. A student of the year should be a leader. Someone who is motivated and positive to inspire others. These are all qualities that I possess in and outside of school. They would have to be nice, they would have to be smart, and they would have to be funny in a charming way. I am very intelligent. I am very kind to one of, to other students and I like to help and I'm very helpful to my teachers and my friends and any other student that needs help. I think they picked me to be student of the year because I'm nice and I help a lot and most of my teachers really say that I'm um, smart. I think I was chosen not only for my GPA because I have been maintaining a 4.0 GPA since kindergarten also because I think I was very unique in the interview for Student of the Year. Because I'm nice, kind, and I care about others, and I get real good grades, and I'm nice to everyone around me. That's a hard one because I think there's a lot of really strong seniors in my class, and, it would, and I think it was a really strong competition, but as far as why I think I got it, I think I'm kind of a good representation of all what Shelmet High has to offer. You know, I'm involved in sports, but that's not really just my main thing. I take my schoolwork very seriously, and I'm involved in a number of clubs with a number of leadership positions, and I think that well-roundedness is a prime example of, like, Shelmet High and what we stand for. Well, my favorite subject in school would probably be math. I just enjoy it because I feel like that's the one that I understand the most. Other than that, uh, if I had uh, another contender under it, it would probably be ELA because I'm able to just read whatever I want and read a lot of cool things that I like. My favorite subject is science because I like experimenting and going through trial and error because I always at the end we'll be able to get it right. To say my favorite subject is English, which I know is kind of a basic answer, but I think definitely the English teachers at Shelmet High have kind of molded me to be that way. Um, I've always loved writing and I have a really, reading is one of my like biggest hobbies. And I think the, between the awesome English teachers at Shelmet High and the great curriculum we have, I've really like find my, found my niche in the English department. My favorite subject would probably be science because I get to learn a lot more things like currently in school we are learning about the space and planets which I really like. My favorite subject would have to be math because it challenges me but also it's really really fun and all the, like the math problems like all my worksheets they like talk about like people and they really find like different things that challenge me. My mom used to be a teacher, so she taught me a lot of math tricks, and I just I just get stuff really quick because le learning new material, for some reason, I just process it really fast and I just learn it really quick. I think the teachers are important because without them, we wouldn't really know much, and they like really help us a lot. They help get you through what um. The grades they help you move on so you can make so you can have a good job and you can succeed in life they help you with that that's their job well, first of all I think they get a lot less credit than where, where credit is due but I think teachers are really important because they have a certain responsibility to literally foster the next generation they literally have us for eight hours and on a normal year five days a week and they're given the responsibility to foster the next generation of workers, 
politicians, doctors, you know, you don't know who's in your classroom or, wh or where they come from, and, but for those eight hours of the day, you have them and are responsible for teaching them, not just the curriculum or for the LEAP test or for their AP test, but just for life. They teach you about lots of stuff, I mean, it's in their name, and um, if you don't have teachers, you want to be able to get a good job. I really hope that I become a registered nurse and get into LSU. And I also wanted to be a softball coach for little kids that could share my talent with them. My mom has been an optometrist and so I'm hoping that she can help me go through the basics of it and she's gotten me interested in it. And the way she talks about it, you know, it just seems like a, a perfect job. I hope I get an engineer job. I'm hoping to be successful at that job and eventually grow on it and make probably make my own business or something. But I, I hope I can grow in the engineering, I guess, platform and eventually go on to be a good, really good engineer. My hope is to be a meteorologist because when you watch it on TV, you get you see people go out and find tornadoes and hurricanes and some people stand in it and it seems really fun to do. In my future I'm hoping I can become an aeronautical engineer and and fly planes in my free time. I'm hoping that I can get into college and become a doctor because I really really like to um, help people. And I feel like doctors really help people a lot. You would be able to achieve your dreams if you really work hard and believe in yourself. And today's forecast will be a lot of sunshine. It's going to be really cold out, so wear anything that keeps you warm. My favorite thing about being a student at Lacoste is the people around me because they get to do things I get to, and they're really fun people and positive people that are in my life, so I'm really happy to be there with them. I play music in school. I'm part of band. Um, that's a class that I have to take and also but clubs I chose to join were jazz band, guitar club and um, out of school I play many instruments. Uh, the bass, ukulele, drums, guitar and piano. I read books for a variety of different reasons. If they have a certain subject that I want to read about, I'll read a non-fiction book and if, they're, and if I'm just reading for fun, I might read a realistic fiction book or just a fiction book. My mom always says if you have a book then you'll never be alone. My advice to the younger student who's coming to Goje would be to never give up, always be positive and happy and it's okay if you get a grade lower than A or B. It's okay to feel nervous as long as you ask questions when you need to and you make sure you get good grades and pay attention, you'll do fine in the end. Honestly, just please try and be relaxed and try not to just stand out and attract attention because, you know, no one wants that because um, people are there to learn and, you know, you can make jokes, but that's for recess and for lunch. Uh, so just. Try, don't try and act like you're bigger than yourself because again, we're, we're only in middle school. In middle school, I, I would say the best thing to do is to not think anything's easy. It's, it's always will be challenging and to listen to your teachers because even though you talk about something for 10 minutes, that 10 minute conversation will have to come and play for the test and you have to be ready. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of work compared to Chalmet Elementary or any elementary. I think it's really something more about being a part of like the culture of the school. It's a lot more than just going to the school there. I recently was talking to someone and I was talking about how one of my most memorable like memories from Chalmette High is going to see a play, the CHS Live play with Bo, my little brother, and like it was like a weird sense of pride for something that I wasn't even involved and I had nothing to do with CHS Live. But it was very exciting to be like, wow, like my school is like putting on this level of performances. And I think being a part of something bigger than that, like where I can take pride in something that I'm not even involved in, is I think uh, something that a lot of students at Shelmet High have. And I think that's what's really special about going there. We're all one school and we're all one family. That's a message I hear on a daily basis.
We also like to congratulate our three district wide winners. We are proud of you and we know that you will represent us well. Congratulations to you all and thanks to all of our teachers and staff who helped our students each day. And we'll see you next month on Super News where we always let the Super News roll.